Hello everyone, it is February 24th, 2015. Well, the very thing we did not need, the very thing that really, really puts the hammer down on internet freedom. This from NPR. FCC approves net neutrality. Rules for open internet. Well, it's not going to be open internet. It's going to be more closed internet. And there they are. At the start of a meeting to decide the issue of net neutrality, Federal Communications Commission Chairman Tom Wheeler Center holds hands with FCC Commissioners Mignon Clyburn Left and Jessica Rosen Warsell at the FCC headquarters Thursday. The FCC, Federal Communications Commission, approved the policy known as net neutrality by a 3-2 to two vote at its Thursday meeting, with FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler saying the policy will ensure, quote, that no one, whether government or corporate, should control free, open access to the Internet. Well, that's not what it's going to do. It's going to close down and make it less open and less free. The policy helps to decide an essential question about how the Internet works, requiring service providers to be a neutral gateway instead of handling different types of Internet traffic in different ways and at different costs. Today is a red-letter day, Wheeler said later. The dissenting votes came from Michael O'Reilly and Ajnat, Ajat Pai, Republicans who warned that the FCC was overstepping its authority and interfering in commerce to solve a problem that doesn't exist. They also complained that the measure's 300-plus pages weren't publicly released or openly debated. That is the essential piece, that the FCC is overstepping its authority and interfering in commerce to solve a problem that doesn't exist, that can be handled by just the free market. They also complain that the measure's 300 page pages weren't publicly released or openly debated. Yeah, who has even seen that? It's just like with Obama and the stupid Obamacare. Oh, you can see, you can see it once, once it's, you know, passed. Well, I want to see it now. The new policy would replace a prior version adopted in 2010, but that was put on hold following a legal challenge by Verizon. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit ruled last year that the FCC did not have sufficient regulatory power over broadband, and I hope that these other countries in the world really, really have a problem with what the FCC has done. After that ruling, the FCC looked at ways to reclassify broadband to gain broader regulatory powers. It will now treat Internet service providers as carriers under Title II of the Telecommunications Act, which regulates service as public utilities. The Internet is not public utilities. The Internet is private and corporate and free. Update at 1.22 p.m. ET rules will apply to mobile. The landmark open internet protections that we adopted today should reassure customers, businesses, and investors. Well, it doesn't. Anything that the government has its hands in is always mucked up. Speaking at a news conference after the vote, Wheeler says the new policy will ban blocking, ban throttling, and ban paid prioritization fast lanes, adding that for the first time open internet rules will fully will f be fully applicable to mobile. Well, this is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. The internet should be free, open, and not controlled by the government. This is an absolute, absolute horrible thing that happened today. Our freedoms are being taken away. Little by little, they're being taken away. And they're being taken away by people like this. Have a great day, everyone.